In this video, we'll go through Excel questions that cover the criteria order, approximate, and compare decimals. You can locate the questions on the MassMath.com website under Level 2. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Here's the first one. Write 2.71828 correct to three decimal places. So, three decimal places. That means three digits after the decimal point. So one, two, three. So this will be the cutoff point. To decide whether we ran this to 2.718 or 2.719, we need to look at this digit on the right. So that's a two. If it's a zero, one, two, three, or four, then we round down, which means we keep this digit as it is. So we don't go to 2.719, which would have been rounding up. So 2.718 is the answer. That works out the percentage of days last year that the temperature fell below 0 degrees Celsius. His calculator gives the answer 8.2191780828. Write this percentage to two decimal places. So, two decimal places. That's the cutoff point. Looking at the digit on the right, that's a nine. So, if it's five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we round up, which means this one here becomes a two. So, 8.22%. And we move into the calculated questions. Which one of the following lists is in increasing order? So increasing, we're going from the smallest to the largest. So looking at the numbers, we've got 0 0.1013, 0 0.0827, 0 0.0095. So they all start with 0 which means that we've got to focus on the first digit after the decimal point now. So that's a 1, that's a 0, that's a 0. So 1 is greater than 0, so that means this decimal is the highest, the greatest. Now we've got to compare this other two. As this first digit after the decimal point is zero for both of them, that means we've got to focus on the second digit after the decimal point. So it's eight and it's zero. As eight is greater than zero, this is the greatest of them two. So 0 0.0095 is the smallest decimal out of them three. And we're starting with the smallest, so that should be the first one. And that's the first one in row C and D. Second number should be 0 0.08. And that's the case for D. What is 23.3 times 0 0.463 correct to three decimal places. As we can use a calculator, I'll just do 23.3 times 0 0.463 and that gives us 10.7879. We've got to give our answer correct to three decimal places, so that's one, two, three. Looking at this digit on the right, that's a nine, so we're going to round up, so the seven becomes eight, and the digits in front remain the same. So 10.7889. Put the following decimals in order 
from lowest to highest. So we've got 25.642, So before the decimal point, we've got 25, 26, 25, 25. So we're looking for the lowest. And so far, we just know that this is the highest because it has 26. So that would be the last one. And I'm going to write it here. So 26.524. Now comparing these other three, as the digits in front or before the decimal point, they are the same. We're going to focus now on the digits after the decimal point. So looking at the first digit, this is a 6, this is a 4, and this is a 2. 2 is the lowest, so that means 25.246 is the lowest decimal of them all. And then 25.462 is the next one because it has 4. 4 is greater than 2, but it's smaller than 6. So then comes 25.642. And we put them in order from the lowest to the highest. Put these numbers in order, starting with the smallest. So we've got 0 0.4, 0 0.54, 0 0.395, 0 0.099. So they all start with 0, which doesn't help differentiate. So we're going to focus now on the first digit after the decimal point. So that's a 4, that's a 5, that's a 3, and that's a 0. We're starting with the smallest, so the smallest will be 0 0.099, because 0 is smaller than 3, 5, or 4. It doesn't matter what digit it has after because they have a smaller value than the digit that comes right after the decimal point. So the further away, the smaller the value. So we've done this one. Now 3 comes after 0 but before 4 or 5. So it's smaller than 4 or 5. That's why. 0 0.395 will be the next decimal. Then will come 0 0.4 because 4 is smaller than 5. And finally 0 0.54. Jim's house has gas central heating. The charges for the gas Jim uses are shown in the table. Cost per unit of gas, 2.92 pence. Standing charge per day, 39.6 pence. In November, Jim uses 1,976 kilowatt hours of gas. Use approximations to estimate Jim's November gas payment. Give your answer in pounds. Approximations. That means we're going to round the figures before we calculate. So the cost per unit, rather than 2.92 pence, we're going to round it to 3 pence. To the nearest whole number. Standing charge per day, 39.6 pence. We're going to round that to 40 pence. So that's to the nearest 10. Now we've got the number of units, that is 1,976, and I'm going to round it to 2,000. So that's 2,000 units, 3 pence per unit which is 6,000 and we've got 40p per day and there are 30 days in November so 30 times 40 
gives us 1200, which you can also do with a calculator. So that is 7200 pence in total because we used pence. And we've got to give our answer in pounds. There are 100 pence in a pound. So if we do 7,200 divided by 100 gives us 72 pounds. And this is the end of the questions.